Hi, this is Jason from Effective Dashboards, helping maintenance and reliability professionals get the most out of Power BI. So welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a drill through from a card visual in five simple steps. Okay, so let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to quickly talk you through the concept of a drill through. So a drill through is the ability to right click on a, a particular data point in a visual. So for example, here we've got this bar chart here that's looking at work order priority and it is um, as a as the axis so that's the the column or the category and we're looking at the count of work orders in backlog so we can see we've got a few hundred here and we perhaps want to go and right click and look at those 112 work orders and um, that are priority number four so if i right click on here we can see there's various options here but we've got this drill through and we can go and look at this work order details tab so there's 112 work orders and this tab was displayed because this work order priority field was entered into this area here. Okay, so that's how we enable a drill through. So if I want to enable a drill through for, for example, the, the, the bar chart that's underneath the priority one, which is days and backlog grouping, I just simply pull it into here, go back to this home screen, and if I right click on here, this is gonna let me drill through and look at those 162 work orders. And we can see that this filter for D up to 10 days has been pulled through and that's why it's been filtered for this particular value, okay? D up to 10 days. So that's fine. Um, however, when we want to drill through from a, um, a card visual, so we've got a card visual here, which is filtered for work criticality equals one, which one is really safety. Um, that's what we're talking about there, safety critical work. Uh, and we're displaying the count of the number of work orders. Okay, so backlog count. It's count of the number of backlog, uh, work orders in a backlog. But there is, in the fields here, there is no category, there's no column that we can add to the other, um, add into the, this fields here. Okay. So how do we go about it? Well, let's go through five simple steps. So the first step is we select the card visual and we go and just confirm what the actual measure is. So in this example here is backlog count. Okay, so we've got backlog count. Step number two is to go through to the actual work order details and rather than add a category here or a column here, we're going, you can actually pull in a measure. So we're gonna actually add a measure into this drill through um, list here. Step number three is to go back to, well that was step number three, is to add that in here. Step number four is to go back to the card visual. And then step number five is to drill through and select the actual report you want to look at. Okay, so as simple as that, the only thing I've done there is I've added the measure into the drill through list of fields in the target report. And we can drill through and we can get this 26 work orders. So really quick, really simple, really easy. Basic takeaway here is you can add categories or columns, but you can also add measures into this drill through. So let's look at it in just a little bit more detail. So because we've added in that measure, any of the visuals that have got that measure and are displaying that measure will also be enabled. So here's our 745 work orders here. It's again using work order count. And we're going to drill through and we can see the work order details. So while I'm here, I'm actually going to take away these categories. Okay. And I'm going to also add in, as well as work order backlog count, I'm going to add in backlog hours. So we've now got two measures in here. We've got backlog count and backlog hours. So we'll go back to the home page. And we can see that this matrix is displaying backlog hours. So now if I want to see, okay, let's get some detail for this maintenance 8,000 hours that are here. We can go and we can see that's 194 work orders. That's the list there and here's the, the number of hours there. So as soon as you add in the values here, the measures, any of the visuals that are displaying those measures will be enabled for a drill through. So hopefully you found this useful and hopefully it's something you can put into practice in your own dashboards certainly help to simplify them and certainly give you a really easy option for creating a drill through from a card visual.
So if you liked this video, it would help me out a lot and I'd appreciate it if you gave it a, a like and a thumbs up. And if you're finding this for the first time, then feel free to subscribe and um, you'll be kept up to date with the latest videos. I tend to release one every week. So thanks again for listening and I'll talk to you in the next video.